So back in February, GQ writer and huge LeBron fan, Mark Anthony Green, came on the show and made a bet with Skip that if LeBron made the finals, then Skip would be forced to say 10 positive things about LeBron here on Undisputed. And now that we're just a little over 24 hours away from game one, the time has come. Skip, the floor is yours. It's time to uh, say some positive things about LeBron. I'm really looking forward to this. Mean it. Not no bull jive. Not no bull jive. Mean it. First, I would like to publicly thank the Los Angeles Clippers <laughs> for doing this to me. And yet, before I launch into my 10 nice things about LeBron James, and I, I ask you to feel free to chime yep. in, even though people think I hate LeBron, and I hate the word hate because I do not hate LeBron James. No, you James, don't hate LeBron. You just hate her. All of the things I'm about to say, I have said multiple times on this show and on other shows I have been on through my career. Okay. Number one, LeBron James was the greatest high school basketball player ever, even greater than Lou Alcindor at Power Memorial in New York City. And for those who don't know, he then became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, <laughs> and he is regarded as the greatest most dominant high school basketball player ever, LeBron was better because LeBron could pass it and dominantly score the basketball. Any issues with that? Uh, I'm going to go with Kareem, but okay. Oh, you, you won't even back your guy on this? Mm -mm, mm -mm, well, I'm trying to Kareem. be nice here, right? <laughs> well, you got, hey, you got, you got to give me something that I can sink my teeth into. Number two, no player in the history of the National Basketball Association has stood up better to an NBA debut expectation the way LeBron James did at Sacramento the night of October 29th, 2003. I watched every dribble of it because I was fascinated because on his back was tattooed, as we often talk, the chosen yeah. one. Sports Illustrated had crowned him the king yeah. before he even right arrived the in the league. And that night at Sacramento, that's the weight of the world on that young man's shoulders. At age 18, he scored 25 points with six rebounds and nine, count them, nine assists. Mm -hmm. Now, he was 0 for 2 from 3 and 1 for 3 from the free throw line, but he went 12 of 20 from the field. And as soon as that game ended, I sat back and said, a star is born. Because you never know exactly how a young man at 18 will deal with NBA, you know, like grown-up oh, kind of pressure, yeah. right? yeah. Okay, so a highly impressive. I think you can have no quibble with anything. Okay, I yeah, yeah, that was a great outsta enough. outstanding day. Outstanding. Number three, since LeBron James has entered the NBA, he has been the best passer in basketball, and he remains to this moment the best passer in basketball. Mm. I've only said that on this show no, a thousand times. No, 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 you, 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 you spell player wrong. Mm. <laughs> you said passer, but you spelled mm. it wrong. Mm. P-L-A-Y-E-R, not mm. P-A-S-S-E-R. Mm. Player, not passer, okay. both. Well, it's it's one little thing that I'm pointing out that he is the very best at. At playing, yes. The game okay. of basketball. Okay, go ahead. Number four, LeBron James, as I've said 10,000 times on the show, is still the greatest driver of the basketball I have ever seen. A six foot nine, 260 pound freight train to the rim. Never seen anything like it before. Yeah. Fair enough? Yeah. He, Number he, five, no athlete has ever been a more consistently powerful uh, speaker on race or social justice topics. Nobody, nobody is in the, this man's league when it comes to the power of his platforms that he has yeah. created and maintained. Nobody has taken more advantage of those platforms no. in the history of that. sports. Thank you very much. Number six, LeBron stood up to pressure. I don't believe any NBA player has ever faced or felt in game six at Boston in 2012. Now, this is because he had suffered some epic failures mm -hmm. against Orlando in 2009, against Boston in 2010 before he left Cleveland, and then in his first go-around with the Heat in the finals against Dallas in 2011. That set up what was happening against Boston, this in the conference finals right. in 2012. Yes. They went up two games to none. They lost three straight games. Game six is in Boston. And trust me, I knew a bunch of people at ESPN who said, we got to drive over and see this because even the staunchest 
LeBron defenders and apologists were starting to doubt if he was made of the right stuff. Okay. And they went over on that night to watch what was about to transpire. The Heat won that game by 19 points because LeBron dominated from start to finish with 45 points, 15 rebounds, and only five assists. But let's just keep it at 45 and 15. 15? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, 45 right. and 15 rebounds? Yeah. That was, in most people's eyes, the greatest game he ever played, facing the most pressure he'd ever faced. Well, Skip, the reason why he only had five assists is because he was not in well, passing he just, mode. He just shot. He's out. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm in attack mode. Okay. 45 and 15. Yes. Then they went home for game seven and just rolled. 31 and, and 12 for okay. him. Okay, you got it. Fair enough? Yep. Point number seven. I love the humility that LeBron James displayed moments after he finally broke through and won his first ring in game five in Miami against the Oklahoma City Thunder. He said live on ABC right after the game, it's about damn time. Yeah. And that was a perfectly beautiful way to, to put that because I sat back and said, yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. He did that. He was the finals MVP, and they won in five games. You give me that one? I'll give you that one. Okay, good. Number eight. In 2013, LeBron James played a great game seven against my Spurs. 37, 12, four, and two steals. That was a great game seven against what was left of my Spurs. Mm -hmm. Fair enough? Yep. Okay, I'm giving you that. It's a really nice thing for me to say. Number nine, LeBron James is the most durable superstar ever. I've said that 100,000 times <laughs> on this show. He is Iron Man. The, the only other athlete who rivals the dedication that LeBron pays and, and puts into his fitness routine is Tom Brady. But the irony of what I just said is, that LeBron plays much more of a contact sport than Tom Brady plays. Mm -hmm. Am I right about yep, that? He does. LeBron takes way more contact than Brady, you know, sort of puts himself in harm's way to take in football <laughs> because he's just going to get rid of the football, right? right? He's not going to run with it. He's rarely going to be and hit. And plus the, the rules pocket. have been implemented to protect him. That is correct. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Iron Man. Number 10, LeBron James should have been the regular season MVP this season. I said it, I don't know, 19 times on this show, and I will say it one more time. He deserved the MVP. He was better in the regular season than even Giannis was, and the narrative was better because he did bounce back off a lackluster first year, first go around with the Lakers. Fair enough. Uh, fair enough, Skip, but there was a lot of generalities in there, a lot of generic comp compliments. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear anything about clutchness, which he is. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, for number well, four. I, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I can't, no, 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 I can't no, no, lie no, 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 nice no, no. Yeah, you, you can, you can. And I, I don't know, I, I, I mean, I might tw go towards Muhammad Ali using his platform, Jackie Robinson, but maybe, but they, not, didn't, uh, maybe they didn't have the reach. Not that, the reach. Because no, uh, no, obviously no social media. Okay, but, but even Muhammad in his day... I don't think he, he spoke out as much as LeBron has consistently over his whole career. Once, once, well, I, I think once the, Muhammad lost his, his right. job, you know, like he, they yes. wouldn't let him fight anymore. Yes. yes. Well, I, I don't think he was like, OK, I'm going to do what I have to do and, 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 and live, in, live in America, although I see things going on. When they took, he, he changed his name because he no longer wanted to be identified by his, he says, that's his slave master's name. Um, and he started to speak out when he saw what, hold on, y'all was trying to send me over there to kill them, and y'all right here in America killing us. Nah, I'm good. They, the Viet Congs ain't never called me the N-word. Mm -hmm. They don't turn no dogs on me. They don't stick no water cannons on me. I, I got no quarrel with them Viet Congs. Got none. Mm -hmm. Skip, look, you could have just put this in a nice little nutshell. Mm -hmm. I could have saved you probably seven minutes. Mm -hmm. All you had to do was say, LeBron James, the greatest basketball player ever, boom, we'd been done. Well, I'm not going to tell a lie because he's clearly not. He is. But I will give you a bonus nice point, number 11. LeBron James is truly a nice guy. I'm going to give you that. No. I yes. don't want that. Skip. That's it. Skip, we don't want Period. End of story. Look, look, look. I paid my debt. The, it's the, the, over. <laughs> now back to business. Skip. The fact of the matter is, is that you refuse to give the man the do that he deserves. What, what does he deserve? He's three and six in the final. Hold on. I just paid off my bet. If what do you want? If you're not, if you're not Sam Jones, 
If you're not uh, 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 LeBron James, mm. if you're not Kareem, if you're not Russell, you don't know what it's like to go to 10 finals. Mm. So if it was so easy, why did why haven't more, if it's so easy to get to the finals out of the East, mm -hmm. why haven't more players gone to the NBA finals? Well, he was just born at the right time. Huh? He was born into a cakewalk of an East. Don't do that, Skip. And he did it. Way to go. Skip. And he just, he's right now on the easiest path to a ring in the history that's not of what you, paths. That's not what you said at the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. You said if he wins this, this would be his most difficult because he was going to have to go through the Clippers and he was going to have to deal with the Nuggets and he was going to have to deal with James did, Harden and Russ. Did he have to go through the Clippers? They're in the no. West. Hold on, Skip Adams, wait a minute. Did he have to go through Kevin Durant and Kyrie? No. Hold on, time out. So, so let me get this right. So the way you want the playoff to work now for LeBron James is that he got to beat the Clippers, even though they get knocked out. He needs to come over there and play the Nets, even though Kevin Durant. He, so he needs to play all the top team. That's not how it works. When the bubble began, what did the odds makers say? Who, who was favored the Clipp to win it all? The Clippers. The Clippers were favored to win the okay whole thing. Okay, then. Right? Okay, then. So what yeah. happened? Y'all had the same, hold on, y'all make it seem like the Clippers went to the bubble and we got to stay in L.A. and then we just traveled to and from the games. No, we were in the bubble under the same conditions, of the mm. same confinements, mm. just like the Clippers. Mm. One team gagged, the other team didn't. Mm. We're the superstar. One team looked ahead to the Lakers and the other team was the Lakers. Skip, what you looking ahead for? Way to go. What you looking ahead for? What have, what, what have the Clippers done to look ahead with that history? With the history of being losers, mm. what are they looking ahead for? Kawhi Leonard has two finals MVPs. Where, where did he get he those? He has history on his did, side. Did he get them at the Clippers? No. Hold on, my guy got three. My guy had gone to nine. Five, had gone to nine. So yep. what you mean? I have already congratulated your guy on winning his fourth ring in ten tries. We don't want no Four congratulations. Four and six. It's over. It's we don't done. Want, we don't, we it's don't want walk. that. We don't want that. Lakers and, and, in five. And, and uh, I, I'm sure I will get a call today. And uh, some people are gonna be telling me, "Shadow, that was a lot of generalities, generics." <laughs> um, and I'm like, "You're absolutely correct." Generality. So, yes, generic. Oh, he was all time clutch. You were talking about he was clutch in Game Seven after you say he gagged and took a, and, and choked in Game Six. Well, he did. No, he didn't. I didn't bring that up. Yeah. You did. But the fact that the man he missed the shot, he missed what? the time shot. He lubricated yeah. off the back iron. Yeah. The difference between my guy and the guy that you call the best player in Kawhi, he had a lead. Your guy had lead I, I going into four. I don't care about Kawhi. I only care about Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Hold on. Case closed. My next, Jenny. Yeah, so, next. So, I was so why did Michael, next. So why didn't Michael go I to ten? I paid finals? my debt. Why didn't Michael go to finals ten off. times? Curious, Skip, he how long play. did it take you to no. put that list? He played 15 on. years. He would have gone 10 straight if he hadn't had to <laughs> no, take a no, hiatus. No, 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 no. Don't do that, force. Skip. Don't do that. Ain't no, no force. Hiatus. Ain't no force. Paying off debts around here. You know, you got to get it done. Undisputed. You know, Ain't no debt. When you say it on air, you got to pay it off. No. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.